T-minus five, four, three, two, one, ignition, lift off. And lift off of CRS-29 carrying cargo research and a laser downrange. And a laser communication. Pressure is nominal. A laser communications demonstrator to the International Space Station now in its 25th year of orbital operations. Plus 40 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from historic launch complex 39A in Florida. We are now coming up on max Q in just about 15 seconds or so. That is the Falcon point 9 of maximum aerodynamic. That's the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will go through during its flight. Max Q. Great call out there. We have passed through Max Q. Now, with that, we have five events coming up that will be back to back. First will be main engine cutoff. Main engine is that what you see on your screen. Those nine Merlin engines light are lit up right now. But we will have Miko, which is main engine cutoff. And that's where we'll shut down all of those engines that you see there on your screen. That'll slow the vehicle down in preparation for the next event called stage separation, which is where the first and second stages will separate from each other. Then the first stage will perform a flip to head back to our launch site for landing, while the second stage continues to light its Merlin vacuum engine to boost Dragon to low Earth orbit during SES-1, or second stage start one. And the last event will be the first stage starting up its one minute long boost back burn. Again, those events are coming up here in a few seconds. Main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, second stage engine start, and the boost back burn for that first stage vehicle. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one, condition. boost back startup. Love those views on your screen. You could see stage separation with the first stage heading back to land and the MVAC engine on your screen lit up. And on your left hand side there on your screen, you can see the first stage in its boost back burn. Some really awesome views there. On your right hand screen is a view from the second stage looking at the MVAC engine. Again, this is just about a minute burn for this boost back burn on the first stage. It is the first of three burns required to bring the first stage back to landing zone one. Stage one, boost back, shut down. And we just heard that call out and you can see as the engine shut down on your screen, that concludes the boost back burn for the first stage vehicle. If you're just tuning in, you're watching a live webcast for the 29th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station for NASA. This is SpaceX's 81st mission for 2023 and the sixth and final Dragon flight to the International Space Station this year. We lifted off from Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A just about four minutes ago. And as a reminder, today's mission marks the second flight for this Falcon 9 booster, which previously supported the Crew-7 launch earlier this year in August. This is also the first return to launch site for a cargo mission, which helps improve refurbishment and relight times for Falcon 9. And what you're seeing on your screen again is a live view on the second stage, looking at the MVAC engine there. For the first stage, in order to make its way back to landing zone one. It does have a couple more burns to execute. The next burn is the entry burn, and that's for, where we will relight the vehicles three of are the on nine a nominal trajectory. 
great call outs there. Nominal trajectories for both vehicles. The entry burn is where we will relight three of the nine Merlin 1D engines. This will help to slow the stage down as it re-enters back into the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Then the third and final burn will be the landing burn. That is a single engine burn. The center E9 engine helps bring the vehicle speed down rapidly just before touching down on the landing zone. And again, the M1D engines have about 190,000 pounds of thrust, which is just enough lighting one engine to touch down for landing today. We are just about 15 seconds or so away from that entry burn beginning on the first stage vehicle. We do use four grid fins on the first stage to help guide the vehicle back to its landing zone. They are four hypersonic grid fins compromised of titanium that are positioned near the top of the first stage. Stage one entry burn startup. There's that call out. The entry burn has begun. This burn will last just about 15 seconds Stage one, so. entry burn shut down. And very quick burn, but as you can see, those engines shut down on your screen. That concludes the entry burn for the first stage vehicle. And you could kind of see the grid fins there um, with a little gleam of light on your screen. Stage one, FTS has saved. The vehicles the continue to follow the nominal trajectory. Excellent call outs. The first stage vehicle also has four landing legs near the base of the vehicle, and that they stage are one transonic. used, they're deployed just a few seconds before touchdown of the vehicle. And if successful, this will mark the 243rd time that we've recovered a first stage booster, and that includes Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. Stage one landing burn. There's that call out. The landing burn has begun. You can see it there on your left-hand screen. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And an awesome sight to see. As you can see, the Falcon 9 first stage that supported today's mission landed for its second time and has previously supported the Crew 7 mission in August earlier this year. This marks the 238th successful landing guidance. for foreign orbital class rocket. Now, next up in a few seconds, just about 20 seconds or so, will Stage be the shutdown of the shutdown of the MBAC engine that you see ignited there on your screen. That event is called SECO, or Second Engine Cutoff, and that will be the first uh, shutdown of the of this MVAC engine. SECO. Nominal orbit insertion. Great news, we have just had SECO and heard a confirmation of good nominal insertion.